Greetings! Welcome to the devlog for hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. We're going to start off as always with a quick sound check. Make sure speakers aren't up too high. Wonderful. So what have we got for you this week? Well, we've got uh, another sort of preview for our, our next update, and it's got a few more things in it than uh, perhaps I had originally planned. So let's start off with the new shooty uh, toys. Last week, obviously, I showed you the uh, the P08 Luger and the M1 uh, Garant. This week, we have got uh, two World War II era revolvers to check out. Well, one of them is actually, you know, predates uh, World War II a good deal, but it uh, fits in thematically quite well. I'm going to actually grab my options panel here real quick and uh, turn off my controller. I'm holding things. Beautiful. There we go. So, yes, so we've got the, uh, the what is it, 1895 uh, Nagant revolver. Um, this was actually, in, in, in real life, there's both a single and a double action version of this. Due to the way the loading gate functions and the way that I've coded uh, revolvers in the game, uh, you're going to get the Nagant in single action. Uh, so we pop that open uh, like the others. You'll notice that the cartridge on this is a little weird. It's like the brass goes all the way up to the uh, to the tip. And you might be like, why is that? Well, it has to do with a, uh, a special feature of, uh, of this revolver. Let's go ahead and load her up. Beautiful. Uh, so let's go ahead and just fire a shot or two. Uh, oh, yeah. Single action. Hammer back. We can, of course, also fan fire it. Uh, but in addition to this, as, as I pull that, the, uh, the hammer back, watch what happens to the cylinder here. Basically, as it rotates, it actually moves forward, creating a perfect seal with the barrel. And you might be like, why would that matter for a revolver? Well, this is uh, one of the only revolvers uh, ever made that you can put a suppressor on because it's actually sealed here. Delightful. So yeah, so there is, that is the uh, Nagant revolver. We also have a uh, another slightly unusual one. Let's go ahead and put some rounds in the pocket here, which is this is the uh, the Webley revolver. It's a British one. This is a top breaker. Now, I uh, I originally tried to make it so you actually had to like crack it open with the other hand, but due to just having to reuse systems. Uh, from the double actions, at least for now, uh, this basically cracks open and shut as though it were sort of a side break revolver, but on a different axis. So I can just break it open like so. Go ahead and load it up there. Uh, the alternate position, by the way, by clicking right, uh, just basically moves it up or down to make it easier or harder to, uh, to reload. And then we uh, flip that shut. Fires a uh, 454 uh, Webley. Yeah, <laughs> that is so enjoyable. Pop that up a bit. Let's do one more uh, cylinder full of it. Ah, delightful. So yeah, so those are the uh, the two new toys that are uh, are also going to be added into this update. Now let's take a look at something that uh oh how to put this. Anton uh, got a little ridiculous uh, with things this week. Well, actually, we'll so we'll show uh, item number one. You've asked for it over and over and over again, and I finally give you a uh, a riot shield. So let me grab that there, so you can see my controller. Uh, Quite bulletproof uh, at the moment. Obviously, armor-piercing rounds will still uh, will still go through it, uh, but the bots aren't equipped with those yet, uh, so it's quite effective. Uh, the way the posing on this works is I've made a change that relates to melee weapons that also affects the shield, which is that in the current build on uh, on Steam, uh, you pull the trigger to cycle your various sort of uh, melee weapon poses. I've changed that to left and right on the touchpad slash joystick. Uh, and the reason for this is that the riot shield by default is picked up as though you're going to put it in your uh, in your left hand, you know, taking fire behind it and such. Uh, but you can click right on the touchpad. Oh, we do not have a lot of space here. And uh, it will switch it 
uh, for the other hand. So you can, whether you're left or right-handed or just want to have the riot shield in which hand or want to just, I guess, dual-wield riot shields, because uh, it is a melee weapon, it does do melee damage, although not a ton, but it, it, it does. So you, if you just, if, if, if that's what floats your boat, you can totally dual-wield these suckers. Um, so yeah, so that's in here. But what has come with this is perhaps far more other melee weapons uh, than I really needed to put in the game. Um, so, uh, so I'll just turn around and hopefully with the recording it won't lag from all of these being out at once. Uh, but I have added a total of uh, 35 of them uh, to the game uh, in a variety of new categories. Uh, we have... Um, uh, some new garage tools. We have things like a sort of a two-sided wrench here. We've got a dustpan, uh, very small shield just for the head, I guess. Uh, hand axe. Um, I fixed the poses. You'll notice now things like the hatchet actually line up with the controller in their default pose. You can cycle them back to their alternate pose if you want to, you know, do your sweet underhands and such. Let's see what else. Uh, Flathead screwdriver. Didn't didn't have a Phillips, so sorry about that if, if you prefer those. Uh, other sorts of hammers. Um, round sort of old woodworking tool mallets and such, which will... The, the, the old-timey ones, this will make sense to you uh, more in about a month or so as to why uh, these are in. A little utility knife here. Uh, let's see what else. Let's get, get the riot shield out of here. Um, oh, and we have a new class of melee weapon, which if you've... Uh, saw the video I posted the other day, you already know about, which is two-handed melee weapons. So this is an old-timey sledgehammer. So let me explain the way these work. Um, they're not 100% done. I'm still working on it. I may actually make, when you're holding them at least, a, uh, a little bit of a semi-transparent um, interaction zone indicator. Uh, as two-handed weapons have two grab zones, typically one near the end and one a little further up. This is using the same code as my foregrips do. And so basically the, the lower grip sort of determines the position of the, uh, the two-handed item, and the forward grip determines its rotation. And you'll notice there's a little bit of filtering in it uh, to sort of simulate uh, their momentum and weight. So you can sort of come around with these from the, uh, you know, the side, overhand with them, etc. Oop. And we can also, importantly, if you want to hold them in a, uh, a different sort of fixed position, you want to basically use the foregrip for that. So, yeah, fantastic. We've got a fire axe here, a nice huge one. Uh, we've got a, uh, a baseball bat. Um, we've got the, uh, the claymore, uh, which was both fun to implement, use, and uh, set up the uh, sounds for. There we go. That should be that loud. There we go. Let's move down the uh, line here. Uh, we've got, this mace was already in here. It was something I threw in a while ago just because it was, uh, these are, were actually made by, uh, by Night Frontier, the, uh, the fellow who made the, um, the M4, uh, in the game and, uh, one of the, one of the first 3D artists that I, I put any, uh, assets in the game from. So these are in here. Um, still need to work on the impact sounds for a bunch of them. Uh, we've got a, uh, a war hammer here. I love that twist. Uh, we've got some brass knuckles, uh, if you want to go about punching bots. Uh, so we've got some single-handed farm implements here. Sickle, a little hand rake, uh, billhook machete. I quite like this one. Uh, we've got a, uh, pickaxe. I believe this, is this one too? Yep, this one is, is indeed, uh, two-handed. It's a little short, but, uh, fun. Great for, uh, hooking those soldier wiener bots. We've got a regular machete, uh, two different types of cleavers, because, well, why not? Uh, and uh, we've got a, oop, uh, we got an old style wood axe here, a, uh, a bent pipe. That is fantastic. Um, a big, big shovel here. Whoop! That that glitched out. That was fun. Uh, we've got a rake, a, uh, a pitchfork. Always important when one is on the internet to make sure to uh, bring one's pitchfork. Uh, we've got a hoe. Ah, 
a uh, a broom because uh, you know we've clearly made a mess here, and as well as a uh, a garden shovel, which is a blast. At some point, I'll actually put in one of those like nice folding uh, trench shovels, but just didn't get around to it. So yeah, so these are all uh, in the game now. If we go over to the melee category, we can see the uh, the new beautiful subcategory icons that uh, Lucas whipped up for me on like no notice at all. Um, in our various sorts of uh, categories. So yeah. So whew, what else? What else? Oh yes, uh, very important for those of you who are going to well be both doing the update next week and trying out the beta branch later today if everything doesn't explode. We've got a, uh, a new option here under performance and quality settings. So I think I mentioned this last week that for to give you more granular control over performance in the game, especially because certain scenes are more expensive than others. In addition, whoop, let's not drop that. In addition to the quality levels that we have on the left here, which I've shrunk horizontally, we have independent control of HDR color correction, Bloom, and SSAO. So I can turn these all off. If you turn them all off, it also uh, turns off a sort of post layer system in general that they all use, which makes the, this is sort of like highest performance mode. You'll notice in this scene, it's dimmer. That won't be the case in every scene. It all depends on how I'm color grading them. Um, so we can turn this on and off independently. We can turn bloom on and off independently there. And we can turn on the crazy expensive SSAO, which uh, looks nice and works pretty well in simpler scenes. Um, but do not expect uh, to hit 90 unless you've got a ludicrously powerful machine in a lot of scenes with the SSAO turn on. In fact, I can hear my GPU uh, to my right to me more just because of uh, turning that on. Yeah. In general, I tend to just run with the uh, the color correction and the bloom on because I uh, I love the way all of the uh, bot projectiles look with the uh, with the bloom. So that about has it, I believe. That is what's going in. So to, once again, just to update you, I'm going to be pushing a or trying to push to the beta branch later tonight. Full disclosure, some scenes are still a little broken. I'm still in the process of rebuilding lighting. Some scenes will not have the post in them because I have to configure that on a per scene basis. I'm still working on it. I'm going to create a new section on the Steam forums just for beta feedback. If you have bugs or issues or comments on the beta branch, please put them there. Don't drop them in the standard bug reports section. They'll just get mixed in with other things. Um, is there a problem specific to this uh, beta? I'm sure. So, yeah. So, that's about it. Um, actually, I don't think I'm going to jump out of VR today. Instead, I'm just going to leave you with a, uh, a bunch of goofy footage of me fighting in the two arenas with uh, some of the new toys here. So, I, uh, I hope you all have a uh, wonderful weekend. Peace. All right. Oh, still got to fix that. What are we going to start out with here? Let's see. Ooh, you know, I had a fun combination earlier, which was Riot Shield and 74U. So let's go ahead and get that mag situated there. Get our Riot Shield. Yeah, cool. So uh, let's see. Let's go... We want to do human health or meaty health? Let's do meaty health. I can take a little more to bring down. Uh, medium, six. Turn them on. Cool. Yeah, it's, this sucker has an intermediate cartridge, so these things, these things tear through them pretty well. Oop! Important. Let's change to arm swinger. Fantastic. Oh, got a buddy right there. See how many shots this it's takes. Oh. Kind of maybe done human. Oh, ammo. Right shield tactical reload. Perfect.
a little slower holding the riot shield up like this because I'm only here, pushing down one arm swinger button. Awesome. Inside. Gotta learn to do this faster. Overweight. Oh man. Found here somewhere. I'm gonna find Enough of the 74 U, I think. All right, come back over here. Here, all bots. Turn off autumn spawner. Cool. Well, that's fun. Let's do this. Let's do this with a melee weapon. Yeah, let's do it with the sword. See, as I mentioned before, at the moment, um, the primary grip is the lowest one, which by default is fairly low. I'm gonna turn these to human. Turn on. We can grab it by the upper grip for a higher up fixed grip. I know it's a little anachronistic taking a riot shield into combat with a with a claymore, but I'll eventually get a uh, a medieval shield in here just so you can have a uh, proper matched set. Okay, oh, spawners on. Oh, we got some friends here. Oh, they're blowing each other up too. My favorite. What's funny is their uh, their ray cast to position their weapon actually reacts to the riot shield. You can see the collision pushes out here and there every now and again. Still working on it. I got so much sand in my gears. Alright. Oh, Well, that's probably enough of that. Let's, uh, what haven't we done? Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's take out our World War II arms for a spin. Turn off momentarily. Clear all bots. Ch 
There we go. Beautiful. And uh, let's just imagine that we had captured a, uh, Henry Luger, where is it? Did I forget to put that in the item spawner? Shucks, I will have to fix that after recording this. Did the Webley show up at least? Yes, it did. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go hunting. <laughs> Oh, and just because uh, I keep getting asked this, the arm swinger mode that I have enabled is the controller forward one. By default, it's uh, it's um, HMD forward, uh, but in my case, it is controller forward. And when you press both buttons down, it averages them. That's how I skate around. Oh, safety. Oh, terrible. Get your hair. This is a one dog town. I would be very bad at this in real life. Still need to make it so you can eject prematurely. There we go. Oh, oh we're taking fire! Come on, there we go. Hitting the armor. There we go. Where could they be? Darn. Boom! I just love to break on this so much. Whew! That's about enough of that. I will, uh, see you folks next week. Peace!